All right, well, hello there again, YouTube. Uh, excited to be back to do uh, another uh, another video on uh, one of the flies um, that I have for sale uh, on the site. Uh, it is the um, it is the peacock uh, the peacock flash uh, pertagon. We're gonna tie here. You can see it in the vise, so we're gonna uh, tie that up. Uh, this is a, just a, a great uh, great pattern. Uh, again, like all the patterns uh, that I try to tie. Um, my videos, I'm trying to show you some, some things that uh, will help you to not only tie this fly, uh, but you'll be able to tie uh, a whole bunch of different flies in this style. So this is the Pertagon style. Uh, it is one that is a very thin profile, has a UV coating, uh, very slight, uh, but, but also a heavy fly. I've got a 3-2 bead on there. Uh, on a size 14 a jig hook. So again, this is one of my uh, my point flies usually uh, for some heavier or deeper current. Uh, so I wanna just briefly go over the materials with you. Uh, again, we're gonna be using uh, two different threads, uh, 70 denier. Uh, the first one is UTC olive. Uh, that's gonna be the body of the fly. Uh, is going to have that. Uh, the hot spot is going to be UTC fluorescent orange, also in 70. Uh, the body is going to be a hairline uh, crystal flash uh, in uh, peacock color, and uh, the tail will be Coq de Leon. And of course, we're going to use our our Loon Flow, and then uh, we are also going uh, to use uh, the UV finish, uh, the Loon Black uh, UV finish for the wing case. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to get this one out of the vise, and I am going to put a new hook in. Again, size 14 uh, jig hook, and then we've got a, a 3.2 slotted bead. So I talk about the the large medium and small weighted flies uh, this would be considered a large fly uh, for me in my box so i'm going to get started um, with some olive thread just right behind the bead again making sure that bead is going the right way and um, you can get a little bit of a taper here so i'm going to go back and forth you don't need a huge taper but just a little taper uh, i'm going to break that off there and i'm going to come back down right to uh, where the bend of the hook starts. All right, from there, I'm gonna take my, uh, my, my Coq de Leon, and I'm gonna, again, take four or five fibers of that. Put that in, again, try to make sure uh, you're not making your tails too long. Again, I shoot for about half the, the length of the shank of the hook. I'm gonna bring that back in a little bit. And I'm gonna tie right up to the bead. And again, uh, like I always try to do, I try to get my Coq de Leon uh, to go right in the slot of the bead there, just like that. So take my Dr. Slicks and I'm gonna trim that off. All right, next part is I'm gonna take a piece of the Crystal Flash. Again, this is a peacock color from Hairline, but again, you know, this is a lot like cooking. Uh, I watch cooking shows and I never have all the ingredients. Um, so you, sometimes you kind of have to improvise. Um, you might have crystal flash in a different color. Um, I tie this in olive, I tie it in black. Uh, this is the, the peacock color. There's a root beer color that I like. Uh, whatever, whatever you have, um, and if you don't have crystal flash, um, there's a lot of different um, there's a there's a lot of different things that you can use for a protagon body uh, heck I use just the olive thread sometimes I find that to be a really effective pattern just just using the olive thread um, and, and making it that way but anyway today we're going to use uh, the crystal flash again I'm going to put uh, the crystal flash into the slot of the bead there to get it started and I'm just going to come down make sure that I get it right to the tail now I'm gonna flatten my thread. That's important on this fly. You do wanna, uh, you wanna give that bobbin some counterclockwise spins. You want some nice flat uh, thread wraps coming back up. Now I'm gonna use my rotary feature here. So again, I'm gonna just wrap now the body 
try to have touching turns with this the other option is if you want to put some space in between and let that green shine through that's fine too i, I vary these sometimes if you want a little less flash uh, that's a great way to do it all right so right up to uh, the bead and you're just going to tie that off one two and three okay and then i'm going to tie that off there now i am going to put a whip finish in here and uh before i get a change thread so i'm just going to do a without trying to build up too much bulk there i got a stray fiber in there i want to get out of there um, so i'm going to do a whip finish and cut that off and now i'm going to take my uh my orange and i do like to use the 70 denier here um, if you use the 140 i feel like it gets a little bulky um, that's all you have do it but just be sparing with your thread wraps uh, again i'm going to just try to get a hot spot in there with the orange uh, i really don't like huge hot spots um, i like to keep them a reasonable size uh, i just want a little trigger color on there for the fish all right so now i put my orange in there i am going to whip finish that do about a four turn whip finish i also like to try to finish it up here when i'm doing a pertagon uh, that way i can get the scissors right in there and snip it off so that it is nice and clean you do want it to be um, nice and smooth all right so the next part is um, the UV coating so again I'm going to use my bodkin and uh, I'm going to coat this fly uh, with my UV and uh, and I want to get it coated I'm going to add a little bit more UV here running a little low here on my uh, container so bear with me one second while i load that back up there we go again you don't you don't need to glob it on here you want to get a good coating you want to get all the thread coated you want to get that flash coated so that it's protected all right but again you're keeping that thin profile i'm going to hit it with the infinity light and go all the way around All right, and then the last part of this, I am going to use uh, my Loon. Uh, it's a UV uh, fly finish, and it is in black. Um, Golf makes a great product. Um, you can use nail polish here. Um, you can even uh, use a black Sharpie. A um, number of ways to do this. If you're going to use a black Sharpie, um, you can draw it in, and then, and then I usually would put another coat of UV over that. Um, but lots of different ways, but, but uh, I'm going to use this because I find it easy. Uh, so I'm just going to apply just a drop, just like that. And then I'd like to spin it upside down, let gravity do its work there. And then I'm going to hit it with the UV light again, the infinity light. Let's spin it around. And almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do, I am just gonna just touch up the uh, the black part, the wing case. I'd like to just put another small thin layer of the clear uh, UV over that, just to keep that shiny and nice. And there you go. Uh, that is uh, the uh, the Crystal Flash Peacock uh, Pertagon. Uh, we do sell this on the site. Uh, so check it out, or better yet, tie it, tie it up yourself. And again, don't feel like you have to have all these exact materials. You can improvise. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of materials that you can make some really effective pertagons. Pertagon is more of a style of fly than an actual pattern. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was a quick one. This is a real easy tie. Uh, so, uh, but again, you get a really great effective pattern that you can you can uh, fill up your boxes. Tie these in a bunch of different weights. 
Again, I'll take this same uh, size 14 hook. I'll put a 2.8 bead on that. Uh, I'll put a 3.2 bead. I could even go up uh, with a uh, with a 3.8 bead on some of these uh, if I want to make a, a really really heavy fly, an extra large, if you will. But again, this is uh, this is my large size, what I consider it. Uh, this is a great point fly and uh, one that I fish quite a bit. So, all right. Well, hopefully uh, you learned something. Please uh, like the video, subscribe, uh, and uh, check out TroutStrike.com. Uh, we're getting more on there every day. All right.